Right, let's continue on with more great race action from the FIM Mini GP UK 160 race. Tyler Humphreys has already been declared as the champion. Frankie Watson, therefore, on his own at the front with Wilson Dilks, Hudson Cooper, Dan Stevenson and Josh Herring having a nice battle at the sharp end. Lucas King, Ollie O'Gorman, Ollie Evitz and then Chloe Gleeson back for more. Harry Rafferty and Leo Hams in 11th and 12th. And then we've got a handful of riders behind them as well. William Round there in 13th. Max Robinson, I don't think, will take the start as he was entered, but was too busy focused on his own championship campaign. Hudson Cooper yet again, like a bullet out of a gun off the line, just charges his way forward into the lead. The absence of Tyler Humphreys clearly giving him plenty of momentum as William Round with more mechanical problems, unfortunately, on the start-finish line. But when there's no Tyler Humphreys, Hudson Cooper is straight out of the blocks like a jackrabbit while the cat's away, the mice will come out and play. He officially must be the fastest starter in any class in this championship. He is ballistic, Hudson Cooper. He's got to keep it going now, though. He's out front. Can he stay there? I wonder if he's got a set of blaze pods uh, screwed to the wall at home because his reaction times are absolutely monstrous. Right, Hudson Cooper now under big pressure. No surprises from Wilson Dilks. Now, Will Round did Brown. have a problem at yep. the start, but he has got going again. Full credit. Never give up. Never say die. You never know what's coming. So... Hudson Cooper is your leader. Wilson Dilks second. Frankie Watson third. Then it's Dan Stevenson in front of Josh Herring. Ollie O'Gorman doing well to go up to B6 in front of Lucas King, Chloe Gleason, Leo Hams, and then Harry Rafferty ahead of Ollie Evitz and, of course, William Round, who we saw up the inside, though. Wilson Dilks has taken the lead away from Hudson Cooper into Christmas on the second lap. So Wilson Dilks is not going to hang around anytime soon. He's back in front. Yeah, well, we were on board there with Hudson Cooper. I was thinking what's coming up the inside here well you know what's coming up the inside it was going to be a wilson dilks shaped bike and rider and indeed it was and, and dilks has got the lead can he clear off he's certainly got the quality to do exactly that good move there from chloe gleason i'm not sure if she finished that to try and get up the inside of lucas king but certainly chloe gleason was up for the battle now this is how tight it is in the mini gp uk 160 points battle tyler humphreys of course is confirmed as the champion if wilson dilks stays where he is he's only going to be 16 points away from tyler humphreys score but it's that battle for third position the bragging rights the best of the rest frankie watson wants to hang on to it from hudson cooper yeah now the top two go to the junior world series that's already decided imagine though if it was the top three, oh, just imagine, top three. this would be an absolute, this would be absolute drama here with Frankie Watson currently in third, Hudson Cooper in second. It would be close between them though, as we just saw for the, from the uh, live championship points. There's still a podium at the end of the season on offer for whoever finishes in front of the other but it's not for a World Series place, unfortunately. We'd like to think next year, hopefully the authorities are listening and they'll be adding an extra place for the guys next year. But let's talk about it from context point of view. Both Hudson Cooper, who we're riding with, and Frankie Watson have had the mother of all seasons when it comes to bad luck. Both of them have had their great races, their great rides, and a load of points taken off them. This is what it means to them to steal that third position in the championship fight. Frankie Watson dives in on Hudson Cooper. Cooper's going to come straight back at him. See, this is as if there is a place on offer, and look at it. If it ends like this, they're going to be dead level on points. This is how much it means to them. They don't want to die. They want to be the ipso facto best of the rest. This is great riding. Yeah, I think Hudson Cooper just gets it on count back. But 201 place 201 as things stand now. But now, can Frankie Watson close down? I doubt he can close down Wilson Dilks because Dilks is so quick in this class, frankly. But uh, if he did close him down, imagine if there was three places on offer for the World Series and it was all about if Frankie Watson can close and pass uh, Wilson Dilks. And by the way, Jake, he's getting away from Hudson Cooper and he is closing the race leader. Yeah, new, new fastest, fastest lap. lap. 53.582, so he's definitely doing the homework to close up on Wilson Dilks. Hudson Cooper needs to respond here and he'll want to pretty early. But it is absolutely fantastic, these guys riding within an inch of their ability. This is fantastic stuff between the three riders up front. Dilks knows he's got pressure from Frankie Watson. Hudson Cooper will want to challenge them back as they come out of those years. Down the back straight, up to the boot complex once again. Into the ankle, through the square left. 
And we're watching back between Herring and Stevenson as well. They're having a great end of season battle. It all counts, every race that you do. You want to beat your opponent. You want to make sure that you come out on top. They always say in racing, you're only ever as good as your last race, and they want to end strong. Yeah, these midfield battles are very important. This is the battle for six we're looking at. Yeah, full credit to Chloe Gleeson. Exactly, She's in yeah. that mix for sixth position, considering how heavy she went down yesterday. Yeah. Her confidence today, that's brilliant. That's the, so admirable. The first race earlier today, she was slightly off the pace of the riders around her, O'Gorman uh, and Lucas King. Those three are a little trout for it, aren't they? They're, yep. they're on the same sort of pace this year it's in the midfield this year but maybe next year year after it could be for race wins right. but it's a great battle between them and she's in it today as you say jake after that bad bad crash he had right this is going to get serious any moment now as dan stevenson makes his lunge on the inside of josh herring gets into fourth position but we need to go back to the leaders because frankie watson has taken four tenths of a second out of wilson dilks on the last lap and another two tenths out of him on this lap so watson is absolutely going to be all over Wilson Dilks by the time they get to Christmas. He's going to be charging, charging, charging. Is this going to be the move? Well, no, because Wilson Dilks is very good he's at placing him. the bike in the right place. He's on him, though. He's come from a mile back, and this is for third place in the championship. If Frankie Watson gets past, he's going third in the championship, and uh, he's going to be gutted that there's only two places in this class, but three in the 190 class. So two riders going to the world series that's tyler humphreys and uh wilson dilks but if it had been three it would this would be for that place so frankie watson trying to prove a point at the end of the season i can do this i can beat wilson in a straight fight Dilks versus Watson, the last race of the season in Mini GP UK 160, the FIM category. Okay, Tyler Humphreys is on the sidelines watching, knowing he can already put his boots away for another few weeks before they get taken out to the World Series. But Wilson Dilks, he's going to try and hold off Frankie Watson, who could really do with getting ahead of Wilson Dilks. If he passes him, he'll be third position in the championship. But Wilson Dilks, this is not going to cost him second place if he loses it. So this is absolutely Frankie Watson's best chance. If he can hustle Wilson Dilks and intimidate him, third in the championship will be his. Yeah, and he will want to do exactly that. He'll want to finish third rather than fourth. It's all to play for. Looking down the inside, but only looking. It's so tight at this point on the course. You can see as well, we've got a great battle going on between Ollie O'Gorman and Chloe Gleeson. They're having a great race of it as well in the final round of the championship. And it's really exciting to see Chloe Gleeson get straight back on it, it after is. the difficulties of yesterday. But King, O'Gorman and Gleeson are going to take that fight all the way to the finish if they can. Right, here comes Frankie Watson. Much better run through Crook and Oblivion. Here he goes. Diving on the inside of Wilson Dilks. Is that going to be for the lead? Can he finish it? Yes, he can. He picks up another five points off Hudson Cooper. And that will secure him in third place. But Dilks is back to the inside. Takes him back again. He resets the order. Runs wide. Frankie Watson gets him straight back again that puts him back into third position by five points that's how critical it is for Watson to finish ahead of Dilks today championship points updating live as the positions change how many track. times did that change that was like three changes in the case of about 15 20 seconds so amazing from Frankie Watson oh he's lost it and Wilson Dilks goes with him they're both out Hudson Cooper can pass them both and take the victory Oh, Frankie Watson, the heartbreak of going down at the worst possible moment in the season. This is the replay from Hudson Cooper, and this is the moment he realises right there. Oh. That's his opponent, his competitor for third place in the championship, on his knees. Red, red flag, red flag, they've stopped it. Well, it's game over in the third place five of the championship for Frankie Watson. He and Wilson Dilks go down. Neither of them will take the victory then because they cannot restart. That means that when the race did restart, Hudson Cooper was able to cruise to the victory and third position in the championship. Dan Stevenson would only be four tenths of a second behind him at the flag in the end. Lucas King, Ollie O'Gorman and Chloe Gleeson's battle ended up being for third. Harry Rafferty P6 in front of Leo Hams, Ollie Evitz and William Round in ninth. Devastating for the riders that could no longer finish. Tyler Humphrey is the champion from Wilson Dilks and Hudson Cooper does get confirmed in third ahead of Frankie Watson and Joshua Herring.